everyone and today we will discuss about the fractures of the mid face so mid face is a very complicated structure and mostly the fractures occurring in this area are the comminuted fractures so René Lefort in 1901 carried out experiments in order to delineate specific patterns for mid face fractures and from his studies he concluded that three types of fractures that were occurring again and again in the mid face area and uh, based upon that he proposed three lines or the patterns of the mid face fracture so we have le fort 1 le fort 2 and le fort 3 lines based upon his experiment so first we will uh, discuss the le fort 1 fracture and le fort 1 fracture is a low level fracture it is uh, also called as subzygomatic fracture because it is present below the level of the zygomatic bone so the fracture will begin from the lateral margin of the anterior nasal aperture. So this is lateral margin of anterior nasal aperture and the fracture line will begin from here and extend in a backward direction extending backwards below the zygomatic buttress and it will traverse posteriorly up till the pterygoid plates or the pterygoid laminae of the sphenoid bone and then it will cross this pterygoid lamina at the lower one-third level so here you see that uh, the fracture line is extending backwards and uh, for the sake of visualization we will uh, hide the mandibular bone and turn the skull in the posterior direction right so now we see so this is the pterygoid lamina over here and the fracture line will extend up till the lower one third of the pterygoid lamina thereby separating the segment the alveolar segment at this level so here we can clearly see the fracture line extending from the lateral margin of the anterior nasal aperture moving backwards below the zygomatic buttress and reaching up till the lower one third of the pterygoid lamina so i am actually highlighting the entire segment that will dissociate at the level of lipot 1 so here we have the lipot 1 fracture right now we will see the fracture line from the anterior aspect so this is how the fracture line extends on the right side over here and over the left side so this is how the fracture segment will appear from the anterior aspect and similarly the fracture line will extend on the right side also so here we have the fracture line extending from the lateral nasal aperture towards the lower one third of the pterygoid lamina posteriorly and here is the highlighted segment of the fracture now coming to the lefo 2 fracture lefo 2 fracture is also called as the pyramidal fracture and this is also the sub zygomatic fracture so this is zygoma and the fracture line will extend below the zygomatic bone so we will see the course of the fracture line in lefo 2 fractures the fracture in the lefo 2 cases begins from the middle area of the nasal bone uh, here i'm marking the middle area of the nasal bone and the fracture will extend involving the frontal process of the maxilla follow the pointer please the pointer will show the frontal process of maxilla we will choose green color for depicting the lefo 2 fracture line and the fracture line begins from the middle area of the nasal bone and extends bilaterally involving the frontal process of maxilla it will course downwards and then reach the medial wall of the orbit so here we have two structures present first one is the lacrimal sac on the right side and the lacrimal bone right lacrimal bone so the fracture line will cross the lacrimal bone behind the lacrimal sac and then it will 
cross the intraorbital margin of the orbit. So the fracture line courses downwards and backwards on the lateral antrum of the maxilla over here and it may or may not involve the intraorbital foramen and the fracture line lies below the zygomatico maxillary suture right so now the fracture line after traversing from the lateral antrum of the maxilla it will course downwards and posteriorly until it reaches the pterygoid lamina at its middle or half of the pterygoid lamina so the fracture line courses downwards and posteriorly until it reaches about half of the pterygoid lamina so here is the half part of the pterygoid lamina and the fracture line will extend up to the half of the pterygoid lamina over here similarly on the left side the fracture line will begin from the middle part of the nasal bone and extend downwards involving the frontal process of the maxilla then reaching the lacrimal bone behind the lacrimal sac and then it will involve the intraorbital rim or the intraorbital margin and moving in a downward and a backward direction on the lateral antrum of the maxilla and over here i am depicting that the fracture line may or may not involve the intraorbital foramen by these dotted lines so here i am marking the intraorbital foramen with the blue highlighter and then after traversing the lateral antrum of the maxilla the fracture line will extend posteriorly up till the middle half of the pterygoid lamina so here in green color i'm highlighting the fractured segment that will dissociate from the cranial base so this is your lefort 2 fracture or lefort 2 fracture line next we will talk about the lefort 3 fracture line lefort 3 fracture line is also called as high transverse fracture or suprazygomatic fracture so the fracture line will lie above the zygomatic bone and hence it is called as suprazygomatic fracture the fracture will begin from the frontonasal suture so i'm marking this frontonasal suture for you and the fracture line will begin from the frontonasal suture bilaterally on either the side the fracture line will run transversely in a backward direction and it will be parallel to the base of the skull then it involves the ethmoid bone so here if you see the fracture line will begin from the frontonasal suture move in a transverse and a backward direction involving the ethmoid bone and lying beneath the optic canal so this region that you see over here is the optic canal and when it has reached the inferior orbital fissure at this point it will split into two so one line will move in a backward direction across the pterygomaxillary fissure so here you see that the fracture line is emerging from the pterygomaxillary fissure and this you see that the fracture line is involving the upper third of the pterygoid lamina or the root of the pterygoid lamina and now from the inferior orbital fissure the fracture line will move on the lateral wall of the orbit and it will cross the lateral wall of orbit at the frontozygomatic suture so here you see that the fracture line is moving on the frontozygomatic suture and then it will also involve the zygomatico temporal suture and there will be separation of the zygomatic bone fracture line will involve the frontozygomatic suture the zygomatico temporal suture and the root of the pterygoid lamina so similarly on the right side also the fracture line will extend from the frontonasal suture involving the medial wall of the orbit the ethmoid bone reaching up till the posterior limit of inferior orbital fissure beneath the optic canal and then it will split into two lines from here the one line will traverse on the lateral wall of the 
orbit involving the frontozygomatic suture and the zygomaticotemporal suture. Another line will move backwards across the pterygomaxillary fissure and fracture the root of the pterygoid lamina. So here you see on this side also the fracture will be on the frontozygomatic suture, zygomaticotemporal suture and the root of the lamina and hence the entire segment will be detached from the cranial base. So this is our Mifort 3 fracture. So we will quickly see how does these fracture lines appear from the anterior aspect. So the first one that you see in red color is our Lefort 3 line. Bilaterally it is running and in green you have the Lefort 2 fracture line bilaterally and in blue we have the Lefort 1 line. So these are our three fracture lines for the middle phase fractures given by Rene Lefort in 1901. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys like the video and in next video we will discuss about the classification of the mid phase fractures. I'll meet you in our next video with classification of mid phase fracture. Until then, bye bye.